Hi guys, sorry, I've just been having some technical glitches with this uh, laptop and now the tablet doesn't want to really work. Alright, okay, so let's get to the point of why I'm filming this video thing. I'm in chill mode, so it's just, yeah, I got my, PJ, my bottom PJ bottoms on, but I'm in chill mode. I basically just uh, finished working out, took a hot shower after workout I got my banana here for my uh you know it's good for your like leg, for cramps like leg cramps and things like that and then I got my protein powder but sorry I wanted to film my uh ipsy final review because most of you guys know I do two type of ipsy videos there is the ipsy opening where I show you guys basically the products I got from my ipsy and then I do <clears throat> the final review of what I believe in it, what I feel that it is. It's been literally been two weeks since I had my Ipsy bag. And so I figure I will film. Well, my hair is a mess right now because it's kind of, for some reason it got wet. But it's really wet from the workout. But anyway, um, so let's get started. First off, I have to say I didn't color all of it, but I did color um, part of it. These are the colors that I got. From my Ipsy ones. I know some people got green and pink. Some people got blue and pink. I don't know if there's any other colors out there that they did besides the those two sets of colors. But that was mine. And this is so far what I've done with this for this side. I feel like that's this is how I wanted to create my bag. So this is what I'm doing. I haven't done the other side just yet, but I might uh, finish working on it today. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see like um you will see a little bit more of my ipsies and any other products that i've ever did reviews for first i gotta say which i'm gonna use this one tonight um i did the first uh one because um the pm the pm mask from mag cosmetics i'm gonna say i've done a little research of mag cosmetics and um i like that the fact that um <clears throat> They're equal friendly, and I believe that they're cruelty free. If, if the thing, but anyway, I looked through their website and saw some of the products. Products their PM mask, they got an AM mask, they got like other sheet masks and things like that, like two step things, and very affordable pricing. Med Cosmetics, you're really good, but I love to say that I do love this product and I do love how my skin felt like relaxed and refreshed. And I know it sounds weird because basically that's the concept of it. So it was it was just great to see that this mask is just like my skin felt so soft and and everything. So I'm I'm definitely considering um going to Mac Cosmetics and placing an order from it. Uh, hey Mac Cosmetics, if you're looking for a sponsor, I would definitely sponsor you. Uh, I I would love. I'm definitely going to go check out some more of their products and check out. Um, other things because they do have a lot of other like cool products and things like that very affordable I've never heard of this company at all but I have to say um, this mask is and is I definitely vote for this mask if anybody has ever um, and here's the thing um, I already currently use a mask but that mask is basically for firming my skin so basically kind of Helping with the aging process, even though I don't have any aging things, and probably like as it would work because I had a skincare routine for about over 10 years. So I started off as early as that I knew that was possible when I first learned about skincare routines. But I definitely would consider adding this alongside with what I use to have this use um, for like a few times a week at night, along with the other mask and and everything like that. So I feel like it's it's an, a great product. My brush realized that it is a good blusher brush and I have been using it a couple of times. I didn't use it the last time when I filmed with the um, um, makeup and chit chat which I by the way I feel like I do love those so you'll see a lot more of the makeup chit chat videos but I definitely love this brush. I love how soft it is. It doesn't shed. I love I love the little rhinestone concept and everything like that. Um, the color, because I feel like it looks more purple, it's like a purpley, is, to me it looks purple, um, maybe just because I want purple, but I just love the concept of this, this brush. And I feel like, to be honest, I haven't had a brush 
from Ipsy that I didn't like too well. They all came out soft and they all durable. They most of them durable. There was a couple of them that didn't last that long, but these are what I love. Now the color, the CD color dual glow. Here's the thing: I don't do a lot of highlighting, and I know most people say you should highlight and contour. Yeah, I know, I know, but. My thing is, when I put on makeup, I try to keep it a little bit more closer to the natural look. So I don't usually do a whole lot of things. I like the natural natural finish, natural look for it. So it looks like I'm wearing makeup, but it doesn't really look like I'm wearing makeup. And I know that sounds weird. Um, most people will be like, then why wear makeup? Here, here's the thing. I don't concept about how you wear your makeup. Don't concept about how mine. But sometimes I get in a mood where I want to try a little highlighter. So I definitely say this dual is good because it gives you an option like for whenever you want to do a cream or a powdered look. And I definitely say that it does have a good uh, pigmentation if you're going to do it. So if you're going to highlight, you're going to get what you're looking for. You're going to get what you're looking for with this product. Um, CD Color, um, good job for the highlighter. I do like it, and like I, but like I said, I don't highlight a lot. I don't really highlight often. And probably to have this will probably kind of put myself with it to kind of do a little highlight, especially around the eyes to look a little awake. But um, I've been using, when I did use it, I did use the powder side because I do like powder products more. I don't know why am I so weird about that. I like powder products and, and things like that more than anything. Okay, Tarte Sex Kitten. Tarte, you know what? I never had a product of Tarte that I got from Ipsy that I didn't like. This is tiny. I worried about breaking um breaking the um the liner, but here's the thing. I do love felt tip liners. Those, those are my thing. I feel like I get a I feel like I can get a better handle on them because most of the times that I have liners where it just twists up and things like that. I, I kind of did break a little bit of the tip of this when I um was doing my makeup to depth, but it still it still held. It's st this still held its own. But like I said, this this eyeliner um I love. It did last all day. It didn't come off. Um, it did make my makeup look on point the way I wanted it to look along with the flawless so it wasn't a little overpowering and like I said uh, um, tart, the tart sex kitting I definitely think that people should definitely give this a try um, but like I said I'm more of the felt tip ones and it's, I mean, but it's, it was, I, I guess you could say it's good to try other type of products. So, yeah, you got me. I, I loved it. I'm, have, I was, you know, can't talk right now, but yeah, yeah, but I do love it. All right, the last product, the last product, um, I loved about, the loved is the Lola. I would say the pigmentation is great. This lasted all day, and I got good compliments for it um, because I used it with another eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette that I. Uh, mom, mom, I used it with another eyeshadow palette um, that basically happened to get from Ipsy. Um, you'll see it in my makeup chit chat video. Um, I. It, this that was um the look that I used um when I did the makeup chit chat video I had used that first look the first time work as an experiment because I was like I want to try this before I did the makeup chit chat video and um I I love the pigmentation of this um this uh color it it's a really amazing color I don't used a lot of it. Sorry, I'm flicking you off. Um, yeah, it's a great color. Um, it's a great shade for me. And I noticed is that I've been seeing a lot of videos that um, it's a great shade for, like, all skin types. I've seen really light-skinned people use it. It came out pretty amazing. My skin tone came out great. And even, like, really people with darker skin tones. And it, it just, like, made everybody's look like amazing so I feel like if you haven't oh no alfalfa so if you haven't sorry if you haven't checked out um 
I feel like this. First of all, if you haven't been, if, if you're not an Ipsy user, um, I don't know what you're waiting for. But here's my thing. Here's the concept. What I love about Ipsy, ten dollars a month, you get five products come to the mail through based on the survey that you take of your likes and dislikes likes your skincare especially like with skincare it breaks down like your skincare concerns what you're looking for it also do for makeup like type of makeup you like based on your skin complexion and everything like that so if there's something that you get from ipsy that you don't like you can modify that by doing a survey it also when you do the reviews at the end of the month for these products, what you like and don't like, it also takes in consideration from the next time that you get an Ipsy bag. I love the way they do it. It's like no bag is the same. Basically, what I mean by that, each month they, they come up with a creative new bag. And they, they, Ipsy been around for a while. Um, so, But I, I'm like just glad that I got back into it because, number one, I got a video to talk about, two videos to talk about at least on it. Um, I'm thinking about adding another video maybe if I find like maybe like first reactions to using a product or particular product whatever but I'm thinking like if it's makeup I will add it into a makeup chit chat video if it's skin it depends on what type of product that I get will be the consideration of adding it into future vi into future videos but yeah that's just let's just say that uh, yet again I haven't I mix I like it like overall, I'll give this bag a 9.5 because, like I said, I don't highlight, but I do find that it was useful for a couple of times that I've used it. So, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you're new or you just randomly come across this video, um, be sure to subscribe. I've gotten, I'm doing a lot of things with this channel, product reviews, beauty reviews, makeup chit chats. I'm thinking about even adding makeup tutorials um possibly again in the near future i um because i i even ask about eyeliners i've been asked about you know sometimes about how i do my makeup and things like that um, from people that i know and i feel like let me do a video for them so if you want to join ipsy i will put down the ipsy link down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye